One in eight men will face a prostate cancer diagnosis during their lifetime, according to the American Cancer Society. Tonight, one local organization hosted their first prostate cancer education and support group meeting to bring awareness to prostate cancer. More tonight from KPLC's Haley Jefferson. It's the second leading cause of cancer death in American men prostate cancer, and Monday night several men came together for the first prostate cancer educational and support group meeting. Those there had the opportunity to hear from a medical professional about symptoms, the screening process, and risk factors associated with prostate cancer. When I had it, uh, I had nobody to talk to because nobody wanted to be talk freely about it because they wanted to keep it to themselves. But I had one person in Texas and he walked me through everything because he went through it and I, I promised myself that when I get through it, I'm going to do the same thing here to bring more awareness. While risk factors for prostate cancer can include age and family history, prostate cancer risk is higher in African American men. Pastor James Gaither was recently diagnosed with prostate cancer. So he gave me three options. Um, do nothing, <laughs> radiation, or either chemo, or cut it out. And so I, I decided my best ride after talking to my wife and family, I decided I'm going to kill it mm -hmm. before it kill me. <laughs> group lead Eric Fry says the support group is very instrumental. No, there was no support group. When we talked about prostate cancer, there was no support group. Mm -hmm. And we need that here. We need that support group. And here we are. We're getting ready to get it started and kicked off and uh, hopefully do a whole lot of good here in the community and save some lives also. The Southwest Louisiana Area Health Education Center Samaritan Health Initiative is the sponsor for the support group. Our main task as community health workers is to get the information to the people, all the resources that are available. And there are a lot of resources available if you're willing to deal with it, you know, yeah, you, but you got to be willing to deal with it. Men, write this information down. The Prostate Cancer Education and Support Group will meet every third Monday of each month at the Price Miller Rec Center. The meetings start at 5.30 p.m. and you can find more information on our website.